Hello chicks, happy May. Okay, so it's the day after our spring fling events that we hosted here in Oklahoma City, in Frisco, Texas, and in Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. That was our launch party in Lake Geneva and we already are welcoming six new members to our flock and so great job to our leader, Nicole Evans, for bringing the energy and opportunity for these boss chicks to be able to get together, to gather and grow, which is our mission. And I will tell you, I, I spoke with our Frisco leader, Heather Lyle, last night, and she said, and it gave me chills, that the energy in the room was fantastic and that the response from the first Spring Fling event was incredible. That people, the sponsors loved it, the guests loved it, they get it. Like after you've attended a Chicks in Charge event, you get it. You understand what, what do we mean by community connection, collaboration, this is it. And I will say, last night here at Yay on Broadway, which is our headquarters here in North Downtown Edmond, I saw so many boss chicks talking to each other that we're creating collaborations on the spot. And I love that, that they wanna do workshops together. Um, one wants to host, you know, I want your products in my store, in my boutique, because here in the Oklahoma City Metro, we have three chapters. We have a North, South, a West. And so bringing those different people in together to meet each other last night was so incredible. So my heart is so full. So thank you to everyone every one of you, whether you sponsored or um, you just attended as a guest or you just promoted it, but yet you couldn't come because let's face it, April is so full of obligations, um, especially for those of you who have uh, kids in school still, right? There's all these spring concerts and end of year things. I know there's proms this weekend and all kinds of things. So the fact that you made Chicks in Charge a priority and you made Spring Fling a priority, Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, it's so exciting to watch us continue to grow. And let's talk about May real quick, okay? So um, I know that we've got a lot of new chicks in, in the group, and so the cool thing is we've got a process, right? There's a, math, a method to, to the badness, so to speak. And so we have our social events every two months, and so you should all have an event card, and I know we're working on the Wisconsin one, but it, it gives you the dates of when the next parties are. And so therefore, we'll be able to put that in our planner, right? So if someone says, hey, you wanna to go to dinner, you know, June 22nd, sorry, I've got Chicksella that night, which is the one here um, that'll be here at Yay. So I really appreciate that you guys do that and make it a priority because we have to have, you know, a certain percentage of the chicks to come attend, sponsor, all that and then the, the rest is that new energy that comes in. I know you guys have heard me talk about the open circle, right? The magnets, the you, new energy is coming in and out and I actually talked about that philosophy um, on the, the TED talk that I did here at UCO a few weeks ago. That is what we're all about and we wanna be a magnet for that new energy too. And so your recommendations, your referrals, all of that bringing in that whether they're a one-time, you know, boost sponsor or if they're appropriate for the group and great fit, you know, that's what we want. And so looking at May then, May, we're, we're all about elevating negotiations. So we all negotiate everything in our lives if you come to think about it, right? Because not negotiating means that we're just forging ahead and doing whatever the hell we want to do, which is not realistic, like we're not dictators, right? We're not authoritarians. We don't just say, this is the way it is and shall always be and you do it or else. No, and our culture and society knows that like that, that doesn't fly anymore, right? So even in our personal lives, you're always negotiating things in your relationship. Even if it's, you know, the small things like, where we're we gonna go to dinner, or where we're we gonna go on vacation, how much money we're gonna spend. It's like, well, what do you want? What do I want? Like, let's meet in the middle, or you get this and I'll get that. I mean, that is negotiating too. And so, unfortunately, women tend to not feel as comfortable negotiating than what men do. 
And I'm not gonna say that it comes like more natural to men. Um, I just think that part of that is the conditioning, right? And good. So the first thing that we need to do is we gotta attend our luncheons because at each chapter, we have a Power 10 Talk speaker who is one of our boss chicks who is tackling like their idea and research backing it of the power of negotiating and how to improve on that. So, and, and you'll have takeaways to do that. And we'll also talk about that in our Facebook groups as well. Um, but that's the first thing is like clear your calendar, make sure you go to those because I think that being a better negotiator is one of the quickest ways to elevate our lives, right? Um, you know, I've been going through, so, well, obviously, you know, I'm in marketing and sales um, and events and all that. Like, I'm constantly selling, right? I'm constantly trying to persuade. Um, you know, we're reading the book um, right now, John Maxwell's uh, Developing the Leader Within. Guess what? Like, if you're going to be a good leader, you got to be a good negotiator. Um, otherwise, I don't think that we're going to get to where we need to go, what we want to achieve. So, that's the so first thing go to lunch, right? Go to those lead and learn lunches. Number two, read the book. So, and if you read the first version, this is the 2.0 version. So, he has updated it for the times. Um, whether you're going to listen to it, read it, whatever. Kindle, the library has it. I mean, however you want to get your hands on that, I would recommend doing that. I'm sure that there's some YouTube videos and stuff. I'll try to go find some of those and put those in our Read and Lead private Facebook group for you. Um, and then, so that's the second thing. Third thing is we're going to write down our Wonder Girl on Challenge is practice our negotiating skills. The only way that we're gonna get better is practice. And guess what? Practice makes progress. So that's our one to grow on challenge. I know we can do it, you guys. Like, I know that we can. And I'm gonna practice too. Like, every one of these one to grow on challenges that we put out in the group, I do them too. Like, I, I made so many small adjustments in April on elevating customer service that I had a huge, huge impact on the communication, the processes, all that, right? Um, and so now we're asking for you to practice negotiating and kind of keep track of it because if we're not aware of it, then we don't know. And then I wanna hear those wins in our group, okay? And I wanna hear them when we talk in our luncheons. So that's what May is all about, right? We're gonna meet at the end of the month at a fun restaurant or bar or brewery or whatever if it's good weather in all of our markets hopefully we can find a nice patio somewhere so that's what we're going to do we're gonna finish this book developing the leader within we're gonna attend those luncheons so I'm really excited about this you guys let's make May a really strong month in our personal and professional lives and I can't wait to hear about it